Okay, so in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how you can quickly set up your Shopify store. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about this. People leaving comments and things like that on how they can set up their store. And it really only takes less than, uh, really less than 30 minutes to really set this up. Okay, so I'm going to go through this. This is going to be a quick tutorial. And the good thing about this is when you um, have everything set up, you can always come back here you can customize your features the colors and all those things like that okay so what you want to do is you want to come to um, the website here I'm gonna put a link below where you can get a free 14 day trial to um, Shopify okay so once you click on that link you want to come here you want to click on log not login let's do that again <laughs> get started how about that one okay Then you want to use the um, the email that you want to use to have it associate to the store okay you gonna click on create store now when um, they ask for the name of your store or whatever else you can kinda of put anything there because later on you will more than likely go to GoDaddy or Bluehost or something like that to get a, um, a personalized domain for the name of your store and you can also um, upload that in the back in your back office of Shopify so now all the traffic will go to that newly personalized domain okay so all this information here you kinda really just put whatever you want right here just do this okay click on next and then you want to include your information here Just putting some bogus information here. <clears throat> Just the computer is moving a little slow. So now you're back here, okay? So the first thing you want to do once you have completed all your information, um, you want to go ahead and click on this green button that says select a plan. Now, when you do that, it's going to give you three plans to choose from. All you will need to do right now, starting off, is choose the $29 per month plan, okay? Do this, and this will, um, you know, make your store active once you have completed, okay? Now, the next thing you want to do, and like I said, guys, this is really simple to follow. All of these tabs over here, you want to go through each tab, and you set that up, okay? So the ones you really need to focus on right now is general. So this is where you will come. You will complete all this information here. And like I said, you can always come back here and change the information. For payments, this is when a customer comes to your store. Um, you you, um, you want to let Shopify know how you will accept payments. So you can do, of course, you want to activate Shopify payments because this is how um, people can use their credit card to purchase things from your store. Um, PayPal is an option. Um, this is also allows people if they have a PayPal account, they can check out with PayPal, and you will also um, receive. You can also receive payments from PayPal, and the same thing with Shopify payments. Um, if you are going to be running an e-commerce store, I highly recommend you give PayPal customer service a call and let them know that you are um, attaching your uh, your PayPal account to an e-commerce store. So if there's if there happens to be a spike in sales, um, you know at least they are informed. Because if you don't do this, they will just randomly shut down your account and they want to ask all this information before they reopen your account and allow you to um, get access to your funds so just make that simple call if you don't want to go that route at all you don't have to activate PayPal payments at all you can just only do with Shopify payments okay you come here to check out what I typically choose here is accounts are optional first and last name required I put optional optional and optional I always keep this checked here, um, like you know, if uh, to use the shipping address, shipping address as the billing address, and then I also put by default the customer agrees to receive promotional emails from my store. I keep this as do not automatically fulfill the orders or whatever. Here, this is one of the places where you can put your Facebook pixel. You're definitely going to need that because you need to track your sales and things like that from your store with your ads. So that's where you will put your pixel code right here from Facebook. And then here, this is the really, really important part, guys. If you're going to be running Facebook ads to your store, you must have 
a refund policy and a privacy policy all active on your store. If you do not have this active, Facebook can shut down your account. Okay, so how you simply do this, click on generate sample refund, generate simple privacy policy, generate simple sample um, terms of service. Okay, you can always come back here and update this information, but just to go ahead and get started, that's the quickest way to do that. Okay. Then you want to um, complete your shipping information here. You also want to um, complete this information here if you want to charge taxes. You won't worry about notifications right now. Same thing with files. Uh, with the, sa the sales channel, once you have your store set up, I do highly recommend that once you have your store set up that you create a business Pinterest account. Okay. And once you have done that, come back to this tab and then you want to click on add a sales channel and then you want to make sure you add Pinterest okay whenever you adding products to your store um, it will automatically upload to Pinterest and you can also get that additional traffic from Pinterest and you can also possibly generate sales as well okay and then you want to click on the account tab and this is where you want to enter your um, credit card information this is where you um, you know where they're gonna bill you um, each month for the twenty nine dollars um, if you want to add any staff members you can um, add that information here and that's pretty much how you're going to um, set up the basics of your store okay then the next thing you want to do is you want to click on online store now once you're here this is how you're you'll be able to customize your theme okay so you can go here and click on visit theme store and once you're here I highly recommend just starting off to use one of their free themes there's no reason for you to use a paid th a theme right now only use a paid theme once you have like a, a few items that are um, really selling in your store you have a winning store then come back and you could possibly get a paid theme or whatever else to make it look pretty but starting off just use one of the free themes um, so you're just gonna come here and click on free and you can use any of these themes the pop the ones that I have used the most are venture boundless Brooklyn supply and minimal okay you can use any of those but these are the ones I typically use these particular one on boundless and Brooklyn are typically um, how the ones look on um, when you go to other e-commerce stores like Kylie Jenner's store and things like that they'll have like the huge picture on top of whatever else and the same thing with this debut one okay so you just want to choose one of those themes you are just gonna click install theme and you want to click on publish as store theme Now, once you um, your theme has been installed, you can always come in here, and you can go ahead and personally customize it. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll click on. Did they activate it? Okay, we'll click on publish right here, so we can activate the Brooklyn theme. Okay, so then you'll click on this tab where it says customize theme, and once you're here. What you would do is click on each tab, go to general settings. You can choose the colors that you want it to be, the color of the colors of your text, your um the buttons on your um store and things like that. That's how you would do that. The header, this is where you can upload an image and you can change this whole background and whatever the case may be. So that's all you would do. You'll just come back here and you will um upload a different image. They'll usually give you um, details on what type of the size of the image. Sometimes you have to do, do a little bit of trial and error. But a great place to get some um, royalty-free um, images is pixabay.com. And that's P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. Don't go to uh, straight to Google or whatever else because you could probably use... Um, because you, if you use one of those pictures, they're probably trademark and things like that, and you don't want to deal with the issues, okay? So just go to pixabay.com, and you can find a, um, an image to use as your banner, okay? So that's how you're going to do, and you're going to customize your theme, okay? So that's how you set up your store, okay? Um, then the next things you will want to do is you want to click on the Apps tab, and this is where you would choose um, apps for your store. So you'll click on visit the app store. <clears throat> and you can search for different app, um, apps to put in your store. It's going to help your store uh, run a little bit more efficiently or whatever the case may be. Okay. So one of the um, first apps that I ever used is Privy because you definitely want to make sure you're um, building an email list. 
Um, the next um, app you want to look for, let's see, is Boost Sales. So if you're starting to get some sales inside of your store, you definitely want to start doing some type of upsells and things like that. And this by far is one of the best apps to use, okay? You want to do that. The easy contact form. So now when people come visit your store, it would be like a little tab right here that says um, contact us. So if anybody has any questions or whatever else, they have an easy way to contact you and your store. And it was another, it's another one called Receiptful, I think, oh, right here, Converse, Conversio. You definitely want to make sure you get this because when you um, get this app and somebody purchased something from your store, this app will automatically send them a um, a receipt to their email with your logo on it and the information, the detailed itemized information of each item that they bought from your store, whatever the case may be. And that just gives that added reassurance to your customer that you know the order went through and, and things like that okay because you definitely you definitely just want to make sure like the whole user experience on your store is great okay so definitely make sure you get this app all right and those are the apps that you can start with you can always come back here and um, choose different apps there's a lot of apps that are on here that are free apps that you can try inside of your store okay and pretty much that's how you set up your store the last thing you would need to do is add products to your store and that's when you go to like places like aliexpress dh gate and things like that and you search for different products and you simply will upload those products to your store okay um i don't want to make this video too long so i may do that in a separate video but just to set up your store and get started this is what you need to do and you can do this in less than 30 minutes guys okay so underneath this video i'm put some information where you can um connect with me on social media and my blog and things like that if you have any questions make sure you just leave a comment below and i'll see you guys on the next video peace